thought I'd do a review today on my favorite piece of gear, which is my quilt. It is made by UGQ Outdoor. It's made in Jackson, Michigan, handmade, made to order. You can customize your quilt on their website. Um, you can pick your color for the outside, your color for the inside. You can pick which fabric you like, different weights, 20 denier, 10 denier, um, for each, uh, inside and out. You can choose uh, whether you would like a, a foot box, a sewn foot box, or a um, one that unzips. You can also choose whether you want a full taper or no taper on the foot box. And what that means is um, when this is laid out, if you undo everything and lay this out flat, this would be if it were for a no taper, which is what I ch chose, um, it would be perfectly rectangular. And it would, when it's zipped up, it'll allow a little more room in the foot box. A full taper would taper, you know, from part way down toward the foot box. It would taper down like a, um, more like a mummy bag. So it would, it would close in the foot box some. Um, it would just taper in more. I was not sure which to go with. I was not sure if the full taper would have um, compromised my foot room. So I chose the no taper. And I'm glad that I did. I have plenty of room um, in the foot box to move my feet around. And I also have room if I needed to <clears throat> put a little extra, say, clothing or something down inside there to offer a little extra warmth. I, can, I have the room to do so. Um, <clears throat> I, I have really enjoyed this quilt. Uh, like I said, it's a 10 degree quilt and it's really warm. Uh, especially in the warmer months when I have been hiking. In fact, it's been a little hot. Uh, I probably need either a second quilt for warmer temperatures, although that cost. Um, usually I just take this and throw this off. Now I have, um, you know, for warmer temperatures, I could always use a, um, like a fleece blanket. Um, I do actually have a hammock quilt that's not rated nearly as warm, and I probably could use it. <clears throat> but technically in the warmer months um, I just open this out flat and just you know put it part of it on me stick my feet out cool off if I need to uh, the fabric itself is really nice feeling uh, it does not bother me being against my skin it uh, it really feels soft really nice the only time I don't like it is if I get to sweating uh, like especially if I'm in shorts and I get hot under it, then it tends to stick to me a little, but then by that point I'm ready to throw this off of me anyway. Uh, you can, <clears throat> they have the option on there, and I may have already said that, that you can add like an extra ounce of down to the foot box if you felt like, if you have, if you are prone to have cold feet, you can add an extra ounce of down to just this foot area. Now the difference, you can tell the foot area, the baffles run this way around your feet. And then from here up, about your back of your knees up towards the head, they run long ways. Uh, I'm thinking the reason is because of the shift of down. Like it seems to be like feeling of it now. I've been playing with it, but it feels like a lot more of this down has shifted down right here rather than being up here. Easy to fix, just do this. And you can push it back up, you can push it around where you need it. And with the foot box having them running this way, the down tends to stay in one place. <clears throat> I did read on their website that the down is ethically and humanely sourced, um, which is always a good thing. This is a cottage company, um, and working with them to design my quilt uh, was super easy. Everything's online. If you want to call them, you can, but you can place the order online. They have all the, the boxes to mark. They ask you, you know, where you can pick your colors, your type fabric, how much, what's the weight, I mean, the rating you want on it. Um, it's really easy to do, and it'll, as it's going along, it'll do the price, um, and you can just kind of, you can make adjustments to it, and then you place your order. And it's made to order, so you should not expect this in the next week. It took, um maybe about a month or two, two months, to get mine. I ordered mine around Christmas last year, no, year before, in 2018. 
and it was a couple of months before I got it. It was a, in a high demand. Uh, everybody's probably ordering for their upcoming through hikes and stuff. But um, I was tickled to death. You can actually go on their website and watch them make quilts um, and tarps. You'll see them cut. They also make tarps. They have a few other items they make, uh, but they have a camera in the store, in the uh, workroom, where you can watch them making your quilt. Uh, you can you can see where in, in line your quilt is in their production line, and about when it's going to be made. They'll tell you. I think they'll tell you what day yours is coming up, and then if you have time, you can watch all day and see it, see it from the cutting the fabric to the sewing of all the baffles, to them um, filling it, filling it with the down, and then stitching everything up, putting in the, the, the uh, drawstrings and everything. It is, it's really cool. Um, it was really interesting to watch. I like watching, even though they weren't new in my quilt, I would watch the process of what they were doing. It, it was really, really cool. Now, more about the quilt. Um, I've used it for one year. And so far, I have had no trouble at all. Everything about this quilt has been perfect. Um, I've had no, I'm, I'm pretty good about taking care of my equipment, and I have not had any, any tears. Nothing's come undone, and this is, I think, I believe all of this material is a uh, downproof, meaning that no down should leak out through. You know how uh, sometimes you get a, if you get a cheaper down jacket, sometimes the, uh, You'll see little pieces of down coming through the jacket and you pluck it out. I have not had any come out of this yet, uh, which is surprising. I expected a few pieces of, uh, a few feathers to come out, but I have not. I have not seen that. They, um, I believe they also use some other, um, another layer of material. I'm not for sure on that. It seems like I saw them using something up inside of the baffles. <clears throat> you can also choose the length, uh, the length of your quilt. You know, for some of you taller people, you want more length. You can choose your width. Uh, this also comes with. They've got a drawstring. This is a bungee type uh, shock cord in the uh, up here around the neck. You can draw this up, and they've got two two snaps here. You can snap them together, and you can draw this. It's a little bit drawn up now, <clears throat> and then have your head out here. This this will actually kind of bring bring the quilt down around you, and you'll tuck it in right here about your sides. That'll hold in a lot of heat. It's similar to like what a mummy bag would do. You know how when you cinch down the mummy bag, you it holds in all the heat, and it just really really is warm. So you can do that. Um, draw this up as tight as you want. I've just got those looped back through there. You can draw them up as tight as you want. I don't do it too very tight because I like to get out of it quick if something freaks me out. But you can do it as loose as you want. You can loosen it all the way up and then it's just flat. Each quilt comes with a stuff sack with a drawstring and a little tab down here. So when you after it's stuffed in there, it's pretty tight. You can hold onto this and pull your quilt out easily. You wouldn't think this was that handy, but it is. This also comes with two shock corded um, pad straps. This goes around your sleeping pad and these toggles on here uh, attached to <coughs> little loops that they've got sewn on here. They've got three places that you can attach these. One up by the head as well somewhere. I don't see it. There it is one up by the head. They've got three places for attachment, but they only, they send, it comes with two. Um, you can order more if you think you need a third. I, I did, it was only a couple of bucks, but I have found I only, so far, only used two. All right, I have put on the, uh, the pad straps. I've got two of them on here. You can adjust these where you want them on the mat. Um, so now all you do is you will attach these little loops that they've got on the quilt there and there and these toggles now they can move out and in now this is I'm attaching to the lower the lowest um, 
tab and then I keep these wider up here to accommodate the more wider part of my body and it still keeps it tucked up under you. And you'll have to just see where they need to be. It looks like that needs to be moved down a little bit. Now I'm going to get in it. Now you'll notice because of these the toggles are holding this here as I roll around I can roll to my side without it coming untucked now up here at the top I don't have anything attached up here but most of the time I don't that would make it a little harder getting in and out but that keeps it tucked under and roll to the other side without it coming undone, without letting all that precious heat out. It's just, it just works very well. I'm going to close up this foot box and I'm going to show you a little something that might help you uh, with any quilt that you have, actually. All right, once you zip that up, they have a tab here with a snap that you... Um, snap here that just keeps it from with all your movement it keeps it from coming undone and unzipping it also goes over the zipper and I'm gonna guess I, I don't know this for sure but I'm gonna guess that is to keep if you were to bear down on that zipper on your sleeping pad you might put a hole in it maybe I'm not sure but it seems to work that way all right with the zipped up pull the string <clears throat> and close up the foot box and they have some small barrel locks on that to hold that. You do both of them. And now it's, hold, it's held, it will hold that shut. Now, even though that's pulled down tight, you still have a little bit of a hole here. Um, that's just an impossible, there's no way you can ever draw this down tight enough to close up that hole because of the bunching of the material is just impossible. <clears throat> you can get it tight, but it never will close completely up. Now that's usually not a problem, um, especially in the little bit warmer months. Uh, in fact, that's <laughs> kind of nice. Uh, you can have a little bit of ventilation to keep you from getting too hot, especially since this is a 10 degree quilt. But once I was sleeping in a shelter and I could feel the wind, the wind was blowing straight up into the shelter. It was chilly even with this thing and I could feel I could feel the cold air coming up through this hole I've heard of some people saying they have a pair of extra socks that shove it in here and just close up the hole which is sounds good or a bandana anything just to shove in the hole and uh, close that off to the drafts however I decided to do this I run these cords the leftover string back inside so you can pull this and grab that and pucker that up like a little pair of lips. Pucker it up. And you just take your string and wrap around it to close it up. Then you can tuck that string back inside the uh, where you where you began the wrap. And that'll hold that shut. Now Looking back at it from the outside, you've got a closed up. You don't have any place for a draft to get. That'll keep your feet warmer and um, make you warmer. So that's my quilt. Y'all go check them out. UGQ Outdoor. See you later.